what do we got there? Throw range or throw damage? Or an extra 20 hit points? I'm gonna start getting to throw range. I've got a couple of throw damages. We'll craft one when we get a cool one. There's some cool ones. Right, let's get a bomb. What's the potion? This potion is a temporary increases crit. Man. You know, we should. If we could save up a bit, we get the salt. It's 2,000 though. Yeah, they're perma upgrades. And each one you get costs a little more. So we're at like plus six axe swing, plus three max health, uh, plus four throw damage, and plus two range. And, um, so that's permanent progress to level up. Oh, has so we got a fish in the starting area? Key. Give me a key. So what happened tonight? Like on the, I beat the, we unlocked the second part of the mines on the first run, um, which the first time I played through took me uh, many upgrades before I did that, and then I beat the the first boss, like the second attempt. Um, which again took many upgrades before I did that. So it's almost like uh, any other game, if you accidentally beat the boss too soon, your character's not at the level where you want it to be to go further. So the runs have been a bit tougher. I also... Um, you know, talking and stuff. And I have a bad habit where I try to read chat while I'm playing. Instead of waiting for an, like, an opportune time. Which this game, I mean, this game gives you plenty of time. Like I, I've got all the time in the world to talk now, as soon as the doors open. But for some reason, oh, I want to do it while there's combat happening. I just bombed to get a, a chest that has a key lock, and I don't have any keys. I are smart. And it was my only bomb. So we're missing our first relic again. We've had a lot of runs where we're missing the first relic. Hey, there's a key. At least we're gonna get the second relic. There. Oh, the new POE league's out. What's it look like? Or well, the trailer's out, sorry. They got a date? What's the date for that? I'm gonna do that on um, when it releases this time. I'm not gonna wait for a month. So I need you guys to find me a good build to play. Come back. Of September, we'll add it to the calendar. It doesn't have to be the strongest build. Um, I, I want to try and do different classes. What did we do before? We had a gladiator and now and a trickster. Yeah, you get little shiny bits on the walls. If there's a if they can be bombed. Ah, oh, okay, so some of the um, the secrets have a a little plus on the rocks or an X, yeah. I'm gonna key before Bobo takes damage because he stands on the spikes like an idiot. And that key as well. So Bobo will destroy stuff if he runs over it. Oh, and, I'll, and I will destroy my health pool as I run over sparks. Uh, 
Every time I look away from the left side of the screen, I swear I see little um, sparks coming up to say it's a secret. Down here behind the map. Right. Hey, Jack. We have three keys, and a bomb, and floaty boots again. Over holes. Go near the water. Come on, Bobo. Ah, so he destroyed the bomb, unfortunately. We have galoshes as well, so now we can walk and jump on oil, as well as creating oil. Yeah, getting the pilfers, like... let you jump out of oil which are really uh, popcorn duplicate <coughs> popcorn kernels so you duplicate all basic items in a room it's I don't know if I'd buy it oh black rabbit usually um, rips you off real good spend a key for some health might not be a bad option right now uh, the miners flasks gives you longer potion length and gives you a random potion when you buy it Basic items, food as well. I can't remember. Can't recruit the lady? No, she's a, a shopkeeper. Mm. Uh, there's another pair of boots for spikes. Got loads of health. Um, what have we got? Three, three extra. Ah, oh, the levers. No, uh, we haven't found any levers. And I've never seen a bomb push a chest. Oh, that went. 
Yeah, those ones went through those things. I don't know if that's new or not. Steak and bomb. Yeah, you get good value if you can get three, I think. That cost me more to do that than it. <laughs> I've got floaty boots. What we get for having a relic that doesn't do any damage? Right, Bobo, take down the bats, because these bats are awful. Hilda's mirror. Return physic return projectiles with an attack. So you get to s swing away and I don't know if you can do it with range. Am I using the I've got one key left and there's a store. I'd rather take it, take it with me. Curves towards him. That's kind of fun. Isn't it? Don't die for her. Better watch. 
dodge by jumping with fire, dude. There's progress. So you um, do various things to sort of rescue people, beat bosses and stuff, and then that changes that then permanently changes the dungeon for next time. But if you don't do any pro anything that's pro progressive, each run would be the same. However, you can save up to in the meantime. Oh, wow, that's a they hit really hard. Oh, this priest did put the max damage on like, a lot of it. I it. I'm doing the one hit point in the dream again thing. I don't like the one hit point in a dream thing. is a chest in a bottle. Could be worth okay. Why not? Although that, I wonder if that could be a cursed chest. I think it can be. Not worth. Uh, Do we get more than 300 gold back? Maybe worth. I don't think it's worth trying to hit those back, eh? Hey? Well, not all of them, at least. Oh, they're hitting the tail one. gonna be the gargoyle room so we're gonna avoid the opening that one I don't want to use my key for a relic we are not taking damage to grab a cursed chest I really want to grab one of these gargoyle I would like to get that key though but we just don't have the health Dead. 